Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. This Sunday, we come to the great Feast of Pentecost. This is one of the top three feasts in our church's uh, liturgical year, Easter, Christmas, and Pentecost. Pentecost is the birthday of the church. It is the day of the gift giving of the Holy Spirit come upon the apostles, and that changed them. They went from being fearful to fearless. Pentecost changes everything. In a single moment, the entire order of humanity got a new meaning, a new identity, if you will. Before Pentecost, we were beloved creatures. After Pentecost, we are children of God. There's a difference. We now become beloved children of God. And St. Paul says that it is by the Holy Spirit that we can call out to God and call him Abba. Now we get to talk to the Father the same way that Jesus does because we are brothers and sisters of Jesus. Our identity has changed. We have a Father who loves us. God is love. St. Thomas Aquinas says love is willing the good of the other as the other. That means that the only thing God can do for you and for me is to will what is good for us. That means anything God asks of you, you can trust. It's going to be good for you. It might be a little painful, it might be challenging, but it's going to be good for us. That's our identity. And if I can remember that truth, I'm going to stay on a good road, if you will. To understand fully the story of Pentecost, which comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, we go way back to the beginning, to Genesis chapter 11. This is the story of the Tower of Babel. And listen to part of that. The whole world had the same language and the same words. They were migrating from the east, they came to a valley, they said to one another, let us mold bricks and harden them here. Let us build ourselves a city with a tower that goes all the way to the sky. And so we will make a name for ourselves. What happens at the end of this story? The Tower of Babel, we know that God looks down and realizes they're doing it all for the wrong reasons in the wrong way, and the tower crumbles. Why were they doing it the wrong way? They were doing it for their own glory, they had not invited God to be part of the process. They did not ask what God's will was, and they wanted to get up into heaven so they could grab God's power. And what happens when you act that way? By the end, everybody spoke a different language. That's why we say they babbled, the Tower of Babel. Pentecost is where Jesus comes to correct everything that was undone by the evil one. The evil spirit scatters, confuses. Pentecost is where the Holy Spirit comes to renew us and recreate us. The breath of God, the Spirit of God, is what was present in the book of Genesis before creation when there was chaos. The breath of God was put into the human being and suddenly we became alive. Now the breath of God comes on the apostles and upon you and me. God recreates us, makes us his very children.